Hey guys, welcome. In this tutorial, I use three eyeshadow palettes, I believe, to create this look. If you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop new videos. So, let's get to the video. Hey guys, so I'm starting with a clean, fresh face. I'm going to use a Satsik Nutri Face Serum. I'm going to go ahead and start on my brows. I'm going to use this Sedona Lace EB13 brush and apply some Laura Mercier translucent powder to my brows. That's just to soak up the moisture so I don't have a lot of slip. I'm pretty much filling my brows along the hairs. I fill in where the hair is and I follow the shape of the hair and then from there I just fill in some of the sparse areas below and above to get the shape I'm looking for. After I just go in with concealer and clean up the brows and then I go along the top of it with foundation or you can use a concealer that's close that close that's closest to your skin tone and clean up the top of the brows. So I'm going to go to my favorite that I always use, the Sephora Bright Future Serum Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm going to use this Kinsey Angled Brush to apply that concealer and clean up beneath the brows. I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot and lay in low. I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics number 122 brush to apply it. I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I'm going to use a MAC 224 brush and go into the shade Swarm, this uh, light brown shade. Next, I'm going to go into the Morph Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go into the shade Agent, this shade right here. I'm going to use a Morph M506 brush. I'm going to switch over to a Morph M441 brush. I'm going to go back in with the Sedona Lace Brush and just blend those shades together at the top. I'm going to go back in with that Morph M506 brush and go into the shade Smooth Criminal. I'm going to blend that into my crease. And I'm also going to apply that to my outer V. I'm going to go back in with that Morph M441 brush and just blend out that Smooth Criminal, the darker brown shade. I'm going to grab a little bit of more of that Agent shade and continue to blend a little more. I'm going to use a Morph M5773 brush. Um, there's nothing on it. I'm going to use that to continue to blend out. I'm going to go back with the Morph M441 brush. Pick up a little bit more of that agent shade and just place it down. Where it got a little dark at. I'm 
And right on top of that shade, I'm going to go back into the first shade, Swarm, and blend that one right back on top of it. I'm going to use this Coastal Scents Flat Shader Brush. Go back into the Laying Low paint pot and carve out, carve out my lid so I can place another shade on top. I want the shade to show up brighter, so I'm paint, putting the paint pot over all those shades we just put down. I'm just fading out the rest of the paint pot into the shadow that's already down. So it turns, so it's a smoother transition when I blend the colors together. I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette and I'm going to apply the shade Barely Baked. I'm going to use this Vanity Planet flat shader brush to apply it and then also this BH Cosmetics flat shader brush to get closer to the edges. I'm going to go in with the more 506 brush to blend those two shades together. I'm going to take the Morph M441 brush, go back into the shade Agent, and just blend the top part of the crease. For my foundation, I'm going to apply the Becca's Skin Love Weightless Blur foundation. This is in the shade Maple. I'm going to apply that with this stippling brush. It's a BH Cosmetics brush. There's no number on it. I'm going to use this damp beauty blender to help blend it out. For my concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I'm going to use a Dermablend Loose Setting Powder to set underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder to set my face. I'm going to use the Sonia Kashuk brush to apply it. For my blush, I'm going to go in with the MAC Shimmer Tone Blush in Ambering Rose. I'm going to use this Bare Minerals brush to apply it. I'm going to go in with the El Maquillage Bronzer in the shade Waka Waka. I'm going to use this Real Techniques Expert Face brush to apply that. I'm applying the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just to clean up my contour. I'm going to use this brush to wipe away the powder. It's a Sedona Lace FB03 brush. I'm going to go back into the Morph Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go into the shade Smooth Criminal and then the shade Agent. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics Smudge Brush and then also the Morph M441 brush. So I'm using the Smooth Criminal Shade to line along the lower lash line. And I'm not going all the way in, just halfway. I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 904 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Agent and just apply that right below that brown shade. I'm going to line my waterline with the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the shade Fishnet. I'm 
I'm also going to use this to line my uh, top lash line. Just to straighten out this top lash line, I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics angle brush and go in on top of that line and just blend it in a direction I want it to go, or drag it more so in a direction I want it to go to straighten it out. And I'm dragging the product along to straighten out the line. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara for my top lash lines. And my bottom lash line, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. My highlight, I'm going to use the MAC Go With It highlighter. I'm going to switch over to this Luxie 660 brush to apply the highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For my lips, I'm going to line them with the NYX Lip Liner in Auburn. I'm going to top that with the MAC lipstick in the shade in the shade Seashear. For my lashes, I'm going to apply the House of Lashes in the style Allure Light. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics 105 brush and the MAC Oh Darling highlighter. And I'm going to apply that in my inner tear as a highlighter. Okay guys, so this is the final look. If you do like this look in this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscriber button and that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I drop new videos. Thanks!